Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you how to give t uh, finishing edges to your rendering and also how to adjust the final as necessary. So I've been working on adding some detail and for the purposes of this I will say I'm ready to put on the final details and uh, when you decide you're done that's that's really up to you and depends on how much time you have and then if you have a burning desire to make this a masterpiece then by all means go for it so um, for uh, final touches I usually finish with a pretty small brush and sometimes I look at the drawing and say like oh man I wish I had a little bit more texture using my graphite when I before I scanned it in well remember that graphite brush we made I can do that and say for example I want to add a little bit more texture onto this part of the bone so you can just go it's a little bit big so I'm going to use the bracket tools to shrink the brush some okay and just uh, really lightly kinda add a little bit graphite texture and it takes a little bit of practice but I think it'll be it's like a really good tool to enhance your drawings okay and again as anything don't overdo it you want to keep that hand-drawn natural look right okay okay so that's how I do my finishing touches and what I like to do when I'm painting is I like to use all the colors and the value scales. I want the darkest to be pure black and the lightest to be pure white. Well, the problem with that sometimes is that when you uh, deliver this to a printer, sometimes they tell you, oh, it's going to be too black. And uh, some of your colors is going to just be too dark. So what I can do is I can take that layer that I've been rendering it on, go to the layers palette, and see if there's opacity here, I can change that to 70 and usually 70% black gray uh, will turn out just fine at a printer. Another cool thing you can do is, I'm going to put this back to 100, is to use layer adjustment tools. I, I'm sure everybody knows about image adjustments and there's levels, curves, saturation, etc. But you can also do it on the layers palette. Now the advantage of that is that it's going to be a layer so you can turn it on and off. So uh, if you've ever done some level adjustments, saved it, and then came back and like, oh, I shouldn't have done that, or I should have done it some other way, uh, you can't go back because once you adjust the levels, you're uh, discarding some information from the file. But if you do it from here, which is the level adjustment button at the bottom of the layers palette, okay, it's going to be really easy to turn on and off. So here I made the new levels adjustment layer above my render. Okay, and just like the image adjustment tool, I can move it, move the handlebars to where I want them. Okay. Alright. And if I decide that that was too light, I can simply turn it off and bring it back on. Nice thing is you can double click on this layer and you can you know, redo it as many times as you want without worrying about you're going to lose data on your artwork. And the great thing about these adjustment layers is it comes with a mask. Now the mask is kind of like uh, frosting on your window. So you can only see parts of it through. So right now it means it's saying it's pure white. So everything on this image is being affected by the levels. Okay, but if you don't want the levels to be affected with the whole thing, for example, if you're happy with the darkness without the mask here, but you like everything else with the level on, you can click on the mask, not this mask, and take in your brush as you do like a airbrush and paint on this layer mask. Okay, and see how I'm painting the level adjustment away. Now it's getting darker, just like that. 